Welcome to Ned Talks. My name is Kevin Goss, and I have the privilege of pastoring at Chai United Church here in the Northeast District. I'm doing a series of recordings under the category of church revitalization. And today I just want to remind us of a simple principle, but a profound one that was given to me that has helped me keep perspective in ministry. It's the difference between have to, want to, and get to. Right? Have to. There's things we all have to do in life. Pay the mortgage. Go grocery shopping, uh, pay the bills. You know, uh, there's things you have to do. Right? You, you have to preach next Sunday if you're a preaching pastor. Or the youth meeting is coming this week and you've got to be ready, right? There's those have tos. There's also the want tos. There's things that you want to do, right? I, I want to go on a date with my wife, right? I, um, I, I want to, you know, uh, go out and exercise or play a round of golf or I want to watch you know, the Philadelphia Eagles, whatever it may be. And then there's things you get to, right? Look, whenever I see one of my grandchildren, it doesn't matter what type of day I had. Wow, that's a get to. I don't care if the young ones slobber on me, pull my hair, you know, whatever it is, just being with them is a privilege, whatever, from the youngest to the oldest one. Here's how this ties in ministry. We get to be pastors. God did not call us because we were better, smarter, stronger, more talented. He called us by his grace. And just as we were saved by grace, he called us that just like with Paul, that as he worked through us, it would be a pattern to say, hey, if he can work through me, if he can forgive me, if he can save me, there is hope for you, right? It's a get to. We are privileged to be on his team. And sometimes when it gets hard, our get to becomes a have to. And when I hit a horrible burnout about 25 years into ministry and had to take a break from ministry, one of the key problems was my get to's had become a have to. And my blessings became a place of bitterness. And God had to walk me on a journey of realigning that and reminding me that even when things are hard, ministry is a get to. It's why Paul sitting in a prison cell could stay to the church at Philippi. I know what it is to abound and I know what it is to have nothing. And I've learned the secret of being content in all things. And from a prison cell, he wrote those all too familiar words. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So just a reminder today, even if it's hard, oh, please don't step onto the landmine that I did some years ago where my blessings became my bitterness. Even when it's tough, remember, ministry is a get to. If you ever like to talk about it and how to get that perspective realigned in your life, I know there are people who poured into me to help me and I'd love to talk to you about it as well. So we thank the Lord for the get to of being pastors and servants in his kingdom. Have a great day.